Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ultimate General Civil War. Starting to head towards the end, we have a few more battles. And today, we're going to head to Horse Ferry Road. It is time to counterattack on our western front and regain control of the Mississippi River. The loss of Vicksburg in 1863 has split the Confederacy in two, cutting off the states of Arkansas, Louisiana and Texas from the rest of our states. Recapture of the city will not only restore our honor, but most importantly, we'll also re-establish our communications with the Trans-Mississippi Department. This will give us access to valuable resources and supplies from the West that will aid us on our final strike at the Federal Capital. A part of our forces have been sent north to make the Federals believe that we will attack at Jackson in Graveyard Roads. Our plan, however, is to attack at Holtz Ferry Road to the south. It is a well-defended position and it is going to be a tough and bloody task. But if we break through and secure Holtz Ferry Road, then the Federals will be forced to abandon Wicksburg. So for our assault, we'll have our first and second core. In general, the whole Ferry Road is defended by the strong salient works redoubt at the right of the road. And a fortified hill at the left. The Federals have also constructed a second smaller redoubt at the salient work from the west. You will lead two of your corps to breach their defenses and secure the road. During the night, our engineers inspected the abandoned trenches from the Federal attack of 1863 and they ensure us that the, some of them can be used by our your men to oppose the enemy. Oh, we just start, okay. That's not quite what I expected. Um, we're just going to flank them. Just a full flanking force on the left. The beach will send here. Cable in the woods there. Um, let's see. Mahone, send him here. And we will get our less elite troops. Be the forefront of the attack. All of these should have 20 pounds of parity, yeah. Ace, join. Okay, let's get our troops ready. We have six hours. Hopefully that is enough. Just gonna push up through the left, push up all the way, and then sweep right. And take advantage of woods like here, here, just woods and houses wherever we can. Let's speed things up a bit. Mercy will be fine there. Let's send our cavalry a bit to the right, see if they can do anything. Let's poop. Pop these guys in the woods. And pop these guys in the houses here. Lindsay, you need to move to the left flank. 
Okay, Cabell should be able to shoot Burn Bridge and get a lot of nice kills. Well, maybe not a lot, but a few. Let's have them run into position so that they get in cover ASAP. And they immediately have cannon that open fire. Let's have Law keep on marching. Of these guys will keep on marching left. Let's move this up. I want to try and get them in position where they can shoot. Help support our units. Well, they have cannon that are supporting their units. I hope Law is out of range of or Lawler. Not really. Okay, good going. Let's keep keep on marching. Low and steady wins the race. We have a lot of hours, so I'm not in too much of a rush. Move you here. You here. Here. These guys are still slowly marching. Okay, it seems we've pushed them out. Okay, hold the line. Push you into the woods here. Push you into the woods. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Um, you can also march onwards. Is our cannon firing or not? Okay, they're just firing ball. Let's move a bit closer. Let's do similar here. Let's march closer. I don't want to waste with time with just firing ball. See what our cavalry can see up north. Or is uh, it's just going to be heavily defended. Let's get them down south and to the east. Um Law, move over to the next set of houses. Perry over here.
Let's have Cable join the rest of our cannon. Let's get full fire control on their cannon. Keep on moving eastwards. Perry will take position in those woods. Bo and Lindsay these woods. That's better. Shooting some actual canister shots. Let's get all of these guys moving northwards. Keep on pushing. Our second core is advancing. Um, I don't think we even need our second core. Oh, that for broke, that's fine. Let's just have our cavalry join up. Our second core will hold a position on the right. Yeah, sure. Cannon up a smidge. So have you keep on marching left. Okay, we have some men trading fire. Good. Alright, we have another success. Just keep on marching. And we will defeat them with some trench warfare and some nice flanking maneuvers. And we'll just move our right flank to do the similar as what McNair and Vaisigir are doing. My Gat can move up. Perry, as soon as Burbridge has broken, will move up here. Even more reinforcements. We don't need this many reinforcements, we're doing just fine. Okay, 
Okay, let's send our cavalry out. Let's see if we can get them behind the flank. We got our cannon in position. Harry, move over to the next set of houses. Okay, we're gonna have these reinforcements just hold. Send our cavalry in, charge their skirmishers. Kitchen, stay behind. Don't want to waste our more elite troops unnecessarily. Our cannon have been doing job. That's good to see. Keep our cavalry riding north. Move up a bit so you can continue fighting the enemy. Right, great going. One unit of skirmishers beat it. Our skirmishers out. Right. We're slowly getting there. Oh, poor Perry. I will admit this is far from the fastest operation, but we're getting there. Okay, march into the woods. Law has taken a lot of casualties, though, that's for sure. Yeah, Law is gonna break sooner rather than later. Shall we attack the cavalry up north here? Yes, we shall. Law broke, no one's surprised. Have Gavin take over Law's position.
Okay, come on. Okay. Buy is taken. One unit off. Cavalry is breaking. One of their units of cavalry is breaking. And the supplies are lost. And they're ours again. Just keep on pushing. Back to cavalry. These guys not have anything to shoot at anymore. Let's march forwards. Let's have these three also move forwards. Let's see if we can move our cannons closer. March onwards. Best redoubt, good. Um, there's Cofield. And let's get rid of their cavalry, hopefully once and for all. We are gonna get rid of one unit of cavalry, that's for sure. Other unit of cavalry will be a bit annoying. Let's dispatch three units in the other way. Messi has lost one gun, that's unfortunate. Lindsay broke, that's also unfortunate. Let's march you into the buildings there. Cannon further north. Roads broke, unfortunately. Move Hawkins back a bit. Move slightly forwards.
Let's send Hayes around to counter BB. Or Bebe, or however you want to pronounce it. Alright, good going. Slowly, one by one. Locking out the enemy. EB surrendered, good. I will take all those extra um, volunteers. Okay, quick, form a line. Captured the whole ferry road. Let's see about taking proper position of whole ferry road and move up our cannon. To like around here. Just to provide better supporting fire. Okay, select all the cannon. And keep them moving. Come on, just shoot one volley, should break him. Beautiful. Now let's do the same against their cannon. Beautiful. Okay, we're slowly wearing down the enemy, that's good. And we're not even using all of our troops. That's what I call good showing. Okay, it looks like we might be able to attack on the right flank as well. Let's grab some men, bring them to the right flank. Let our cannon get into position. Okay, good going, Cannon. Let's move up a bit. With everything. Let's have Kirk fall back. Move our cannon up a bit more. All right, let's have a cavalry charge in, take care of Reed.
move Hawkins up a bit. Come on, knock out Reed, knock out Reed. And he's knocked out. Our cannon will shoot their cannon just because they're being annoying. Keep on marching right. Let's start attacking on the left. Let's move our cannon back a bit. Oh, hold up. Air broke, that's inconvenient. Let's get him closer, actually. Start attacking. Then a cavalry in to help. Just the mass of our cavalry should do a lot of damage. Hey, okay, good going. Ransom will get destroyed. Okay, that's fine. Back. March onwards. Keep on pushing. We have one hour to go and I think we'll make it. Let's have our cannon help against the well entrenched cannon, however. Shoot their cannon. A uh, good, good. Okay, good going. Almost through. Fall back, Atkinson. They're stronger on the left flank than I anticipated. Okay. Next unit. We are almost inside the fort. So just keep on pushing. Oh, Lindsay broke. I'm guessing it's due to all of the cannon fire. Lindsay has taken a lot of casualties.
I mean, in general, we've taken a lot of casualties. Being so much on the offensive is costly. Okay, get you into the woods. Let's keep you marching to the right. Um, to the north. Let's pop Kevin there just in case. But really, I do think we have this in the bag. Let's see, can we do anything fun with our cavalry? We've, s we've captured Edition. Okay, let's get Boomer. Let's not get Boomer, actually. I think for the most part I'm content with what we have. But I would love to knock out more cannon. Mainly because the cannon is very annoying. And maybe they have 20 pounder parrots. I wouldn't mind some parrots. Marching. Shoot their cannons. Good going. And we have a victory. We lost almost nine grand. Well, we lost more than nine grand. Five guns. Unfortunate. And what kind of cannons? We did capture three and we lost one, so that's a good win. Other than that, some 1861s are nice. Not much interesting otherwise. Some prisoners exchanged. Some wounded men. Let's pop it into veterancy. Battles map. Next up, Hardened Pike. We have lots of stuff in the armory we could potentially sell. And I did sell a bunch of stuff between episodes. That's a shame. Now we can't equip another unit with it. Pirates. Let's see if we can afford to just go full veteran from now on. Get as strong troops as possible. Yes, sir. Yeah, that would be a bit too much, I think. Let's say if they have more than 1500 men, we will give them veteran training. So like Garnet. It is expensive, but it's not... We're swimming in money right now. We can afford it. And I think Washington will be the last battle. I just have a sneaking suspicious suspicion. The bigger concern is will we have enough guns? Probably. I say it's a bigger concern, but it's probably not a big concern at all. There we go, all of first core is good to go. Ooh. 
Amatos. There we go. Now they are off to up to snuff. And some promotions on units that barely took any damage. Or arguably took no damage. That's great. Hey, didn't I apply a promotion? And you get rookies because... Too bad. Actually, one thing we could do is... Oop. And the rest... There we go. Stonks. Right. Make sure everybody has... Uh, yes, sir! Guns as well. Let's see. Let's take a look at Washington for a moment. What can we bring there? We can bring... Five brigades. Okay. Well, between episodes, I'll spend some time... Trying to kit out 4th and 5th core. How much... Five reputation. Worst case, we can get some of these. But anyways, for now, thank you all for watching. I'll be doing this in between episodes. And thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!